everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Samantha and I'm back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm sharing a one year review of my stunning Polen Numero Noof. Polen is one of our favorite bags on this channel. I have an entire playlist just dedicated to the Polen bags in my luxury collection. And so you guys love these updates on how the bags have been wearing. Um, maintenance, styling, etc. And so I figured I would share my one year update on the stunning Polen Numero Neuf Mini. This is what I would like to call my dumpling bag. So let's start off with the kind of general sentiment on the wear and tear of this bag. Firstly, this is in the mini size. It is a beautiful blush pink color. And I specifically chose this colorway because in my collection, I like that my bags each have its own individual personality and something that they bring to the table. And I usually like to have some variety in terms of like sizing, shape, color, because that just makes it easier for me to use the bags more often instead of just having like 10 neutral bags that all kind of look the same. So for this bag, I wanted it to be more of like a spring and summer bag, a pop of color because I do like to wear colors as well as neutrals. And I wanted something that had a very unique shape to it. I've had this for about a year now and it is in grained leather. I don't think that they have this in smooth leather. It's like how it looked when I first got it, like when I first unboxed the bag. That's how great the bag looks. Like if you watch my other Polen update videos as well, that's something that I find is pretty consistent with all the bags in the Polen brand is that it wears very beautifully. It's not as easy to see if there are any marks on it because it's quite a structured bag on its own. If I really had to look at the leather and like how it's been wearing, it's still very, very clean as you can see. And I really honestly do not see any scuff marks or stains or anything like that. If you look on the interior, it is a cloth interior and because of how the um, like structure of this bag is, it's quite difficult to see how the inside looks completely. But if you trust me, um, I'm looking in it and honestly, it looks really clean. <laughs> There's like a little Polen wording engraved on it on both sides and the buttons also still look really, really nice. In terms of wearability and usability, I know this is a question that a lot of you guys had in my other Polen videos. Some of you asked, you know, hey, what is the which bag is better? Is the Polen Numero Un Nano better or is the Polen Neuf better? What size is better? And honestly, it's really hard to answer these questions because it's really up to your individual taste. I actually filmed a video where I was comparing both bags, so I'll link it up above so you guys can catch that as well. I only bring this out less than I do bring the Numero Un Nano, just purely because of how much fits inside the bag, but also the color. Our own nano reviews, I do say that the camel tone is very easy to pair with colors as well as neutrals, whereas this is a little bit harder. Like it still looks good with black, but um, it really depends on the tones of your clothing and how you do like to wear color. So it might not be as versatile as something that is a little bit more muted or neutral in terms of colorway for bags or accessories but I find that I bring this out often enough like if it's a cute little date night if I want a pop of color that's not red in terms of maintenance and keeping it clean I have to be honest that I don't I don't really clean this bag. I do mention that I have some products from the handbag spa. I think would be really good with the Polen bags because it helps to clean leather. And so that's something that's just more of like a disinfectant for like any bacteria that's on the bag. But honestly, because it's grain leather and like you don't really see any scratching or like dirt marks, etc. I find that even if you use like a kitchen paper towel and just like lightly damp it and then just wipe it just for like a nice clean and then wipe it dry, I think that should be sufficient. I do share in my other videos that the Polen Numero Neuf is a very uniquely shaped bag and something that I still do think is quite trendy and like nice to have in your collection, especially now with the Polen Boutique in North America. I think there's 
only one in New York. I haven't been to the one in New York, but I'm hoping that you'll be able to see a larger variety of colorways and sizes for the Poulain Numero Neuf. I do still think even with the price increases that we've seen with the brand, it still ranks as a more affordable luxury brand compared to like higher luxury houses. Look at a really good quality bag that still lasts and ages beautifully that is a full leather bag. And so if you're looking for some variety in your collection, you want more colorways, like honestly, you could have this bag in a white or black or their beautiful taupe color that would pair so nice with neutral outfits in your collection but also if you want something that's more colorful I know that they do have like a green and a yellow if I'm not mistaken. So in a nutshell I do think that the Poulain Numero Neuf was a beautiful addition to my collection. I do have a new bag that I'm waiting to be shipped. I haven't purchased anything from Poland in a really, really long time, so I'm really excited to share that bag with you guys. So be sure to follow along so that you get to see the unboxing when it does arrive. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one year review of my Poland Numero Neuf. Of course, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. If not, you can feel free to drop me a DM. I'm on Instagram as well as TikTok, and I'm on YouTube every single week. So I will see you back here next week. Let me know if you have any questions or anything else you want to see. 